Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Next to Gale of Darkness playing My god, that was very loud in my ears Cause I had the headphones on On Another day, another I can't be asked, but I'm here anyway <laughs> Recording It's just cause I always find it a pain in the ass to set up you know, the caps gun shit. What also doesn't help is the fact that the freaking days are just planned with the weather. It's just like, yeah. And I'm up at freaking 8 in the morning. I woke up early. So, you may be wondering, it's like, well, are they gonna do a battle see these wheels? It's probably obvious. It's gonna be an entitled, isn't it? So you probably expect that there's not going to be battle CDs here. Rather, a further search for the battle CDs. I've looked up on Bulbapedia, and while it is helpful in that, it points out, like, okay, it's in the specific location for this battle CD, this battle CD, and this, and this, and that, and this. But it doesn't tell you where in the location, so I have no bloody idea. There's still a few we got left. There's apparently one or two in the Pokemon Lab. It's been a while since we've been here, isn't it? It's been a while since we've been anywhere, really. Well, not really. We did search for battle CDs quite a while back, but still. Where be... Where be... Be be be... Be any bookshelves? Maybe in lockers. Potentially could be in that room. Wait, no. There's a door in here, of course. Mm. Do, do. Nothing to see here, but there was a master ball at one time. And we say now. Oh, you've snagged the Dragonite, which we believe to be the last Shadow Pokemon. That means you have rescued all the Shadow Pokemon at Cypher for Great. Thanks for your great effort, Michael. I'm glad I was able to help you in any way, uh, in my own way. You should acknowledge that the game is complete by this point, I suppose. Part 100, I just now realize. It's quite a milestone, that. It's lined with books and Pokemon. So, back tile the basic Pokemon mails and apply techniques. Okay, she still is there then. It's lined with books and Pokemon. Is this going to be a sick baby side of the Pokemon match ships in the pure fortune? Try with difficult looking books. Big Brother Jovi does escape, but Mimi and the other Pokemon are very happy. Did you do something incredible? You did, didn't you? But that was ages ago. Michael, you've grown so impressively. The purified chamber represents the dreams of Professor Crane and myself, and of course your father's too. Seeing you make use of the purified chamber so capably, I can't help but feel a tug of destiny. You know, that reminds me, I finally got around to playing Alpha Sapphire, and I haven't actually played much of it at all, really. I still, it's like I'm right outside Pedalburg City for the first time. And, uh, took a few pictures like I did with, uh, Mr. Dungeon and Pokemon Moon back in the day, a while, ages ago. So I'll insert the mother, yaw, if I can even remember to bother to freaking upload them. And you know what, the way May is all like, just like, oh, I'm impressed with you, you know, you only start as a trainer, it's just like, bullshit, I've been doing this shit for years. And then I thought, you know, technically, the first Pokemon game I think I ever played was Sapphire or Ruby. Or well, maybe it was Colosseum, I can't remember, but the first handheld was definitely one of the two. I remember, like, 
back when I was in school, when I was younger and shit. I remember the kids would be playing on their Game Boy Color and shit, playing on the original Pokemon games. But I don't think I got to play them back then. So yeah. So technically I was a beginner around about the time where May would have said, Hey, you're doing good for a beginner, you're just like, you're new to this, aren't you? You're just like, well, I was at the time, but not anymore, but anyways. I didn't mean to talk to you. Hi, my cool I've heard. You have now purified all the Shadow Pokemon. That's fantastic work. Now Pokemon will be able to live in peace without fear. This is all you're doing, my will We all owe you a huge thanks. But you don't frickin' say, oh, but what about Cynodoc Island? I'd be like, fuck you, I'm playing that shit. So, notebook titled Joint Study on Purification. We dedicate our friendship to the realization of the purified chamber in three points. The notebooks are bad. What, is they on both of them? Where's the bookshelves, man? Snag a Shadow Lugia, it would take you to do it, my lord. But this is no time for complacency. Be cautious until Cypher goes down for good. You had to ruin it by acknowledging Cypher still being a thing even though they're not. Cypher hasn't been a thing for years, man. Because Nintendo hasn't made a follow-up to this game. That makes me think as well. You know, with a Switch, I don't own the Switch, but... It's essentially like a dual console in a way, isn't it? It's like Nintendo... After so many years, has finally decided, okay, why, why, why don't we make it so that you can play the handhelds on your TV? Just like, hmm, why didn't we think of that? It's like Pokemon, for example, it's always bugged me, you know? If I could, you know, play it on the TV, like, say, Pokemon, uh, Sun and Moon, for example, I'd help it, because if I could, you know, play it off the TV, I could use the capture card and shit, probably. But no. And it's just boggles my mind, because, you know, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald actually had that back in the day in the form of Pokemon Box. Why the hell they don't do that at all since? Just boggles my mind. I mean, they had the technology, but they were like, nah, we're sticking to your handhelds. So it makes you really wonder, the more, like, Advanced, the uh, you know, handhelds become and all that. Sooner or later, you know, Game Freak's gonna be like, ah, fuck, we gotta update shit again. It's just like we're already updating shit where we got uh, the 3D games. After so many years of like the kind of you know 2D style, now they went to 3D style, and then it'll get even more advanced, and then it'd be like, ah, fuck, this is getting more and more complicated. Does Game Freak even make any other games in Pokemon? It's a book titled Let's Play Hide and Seek. We played pretend Pokemon battles today, Jovi and I. Jovi played a trading fraud and I was the Pokeball. It was a fun time. And Calcoin was obviously in a Pokemon situation, probably. I don't know. What do I particularly care? Robert, do you certainly have to be distracting the Pokemon? Is this like a lounge area, then? No speakers. I see no books. Man, nearly ten minutes we haven't found a single battle CD. Are your Pokemon doing well? I formed a combo with this baby here. I want to make it battle a lot so that it will evolve quickly. Oh, there it is. Battle CD. Oh, Michael, you're interested in Battle Sims too. If you'd like, you're welcome to take that. Battle CD 33. Hooray! What else you got here? Flying with books and Pokemon. 
Holy shit, I just now noticed. You've got a lot of trophies and freaking achievements here. What the fuck did you even get them from? Hey, think about that. Put that in perspective, you know? In a Pokemon game, like in the average Pokemon game, you go through gym leaders and all that. You win the Pokemon League, but you never get trophies like this. Where the fuck do you get these trophies from, woman? You don't get anything fancy like that, no. How cool would that be, though? A Pokemon game where, like, like, for example, your house, for example, never plays a role ever. It's just like, wow, this is a starting point, now fuck off. Wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, you know, take part in tournaments in the game and shit? You know, as long as Nintendo, you know, doesn't make them too overkill with the difficulty, with its cheap difficulty, like they love to do. Freaking Battle Frontier and freaking Battle Tree suck ass. But anyways, well, I suppose, like I've said, before, you know, Battle Frontier sucked ass, but at least it looked cool. It's just the presentation was kind of off, because they were like, let's make everything rigged as fucking hell, and, uh, that's it. That that was it, really. It freaking destroyed my eyesight when I LP that, because I had to s I was speeding up the game all the time, because it was just so time-consuming, I can't imagine doing that without freaking, you know, that option, because fuck that shit. Or especially out save states to counteract some of the bullshit, because seriously, that was rigged as fuck. Anyways, what was I talking about? Ah, oh, yeah. But imagine if they had tournaments, non-rigged tournaments, tournaments that are fair but challenging, and there were like a lot of them, different types of tournaments that you had, just like, oh, specific things and all that, and you get different trophies, and they all appear in your room or some shit, that'd be cool. But no, alas, they will not do that ever, probably. And, you know, Pokemon Ribbons, for example, why don't they have it so that they actually have some form of display for them, you know? All it is is just like, you just check your Pokemon on the menu thing, and it shows what ribbons you've got, and that's it. Why couldn't it be, like, a bit more t detailed than that? Just so many things, so many little details that could be done, but nope. Ah, uh, Michael, welcome back. You're quite the hero. Everyone says so about you. But be sure to show your face to Lily every so often. No, she won't say it to you. She is a mother. Of course she's worried about you. Or about in the freaking normal Pokemon games. Well, it's pretty much the same here, but it's even more so in the other Pokemon games. At least, you know, the protagonist Miller in this game played somewhat of a role in the plot. In the freaking main games, that's barely ever the case, is it? It's just like, oh, you got a Pokemon? Oh, it's so cute. Now fuck off. Even in freaking, you know, like, like the Hoenn region, it's like, where the protagonist's father is a gym leader. It's just like, oh, that that should probably give some further development for the mother character as well, right? No, it doesn't. Just like, oh, your father's on TV, and I'm going to say nothing else for the rest of the game, probably. Just bullshit. Wait. Just realized something. Why has Jovi's bedroom got two beds anyway? Come to think of it, you got this room and that room. They got beds. Your room, wait, your room does have a bed. Are we the only three people who sleep here? There's an extra bed, so maybe it's for, uh, Lily. But then again, why doesn't she get a bigger bed? You'd think she'd be like, no, I'm an adult. I get the better bed. Just like, maybe, no, that's the protagonist's room, though, so. Doesn't make any sense. And there's a lot of people who work here. Do they, like, uh, go, do they have homes they go to? Homes we never see because, you know, nobody does anything. They just stand and sit around all the time. Imagine if the game was kind of like, uh, I don't know, for example, like Skyrim or some shit. Where you see, you know, people just doing daily shit, you know. They don't just stay in place all the time. That'd be kind of interesting. Look how weird that TV is, man. Well, not TV, computer. It's a weird size. 
You know, one down downside to... Wait. Oh, you can? You can actually take a rest? Anyway, what I was gonna say is, one downside to this game here is... You can't do what other Pokemon games can do. And that is, you know, just walk. Literally. Just walk into your bed. Of course, in the more modern ones... You can actually lie on the bed, or in the case of uh, uh, Alpha Sapphire, you could at the very least sit down on a bed. Any bed in the world, you could sit on it. Same with chairs, surprisingly. It's it's amazing how long it took for them to actually accomplish it. It's like from the days where you could just like walk into a bed, now you can actually sit on a bed rather than walk into it. So, um, what other ones did I look up? There's one in Agate Village. There's actually one in Cypherland as well. I think there's still one in Phoenix City. There's one in Ons. Yeah, I think those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. Go to Agate Village. I wonder if you're hiding it back there. There's a book titled The Smart Way to Raise Pokemon. I wonder, maybe I overlooked a book in here. Wow, well, bookshelf. Secret news leads. Old looking books for old looking people. There. Too bad you can't check the fridge or the sink. It's it's inconsistency, I say. In Pokemon games, sometimes you can check stuff like that. You'd be like, hmm, something, someone's like uh, cooking something good and all that. But no. Do -do 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 -do. I wouldn't buy anything in here. No battle CDs for me. You don't own any books, do you? Book title to truth, yeah, I read that. All it said was uh, level one torchic level whenever level level that uh, evolves to I uh, doesn't matter. This place is kinda big but small. Don't even have a bookshelf in a Pokemon Center, man, in this place. Gotta be Battle CD somewhere. What building have I not entered? I think I've entered every building and I've found nothing. And the fact is, Bulbapedia doesn't say shit about stuff like this, you know? It just says, oh, th this one can be found in Agate Village, doesn't it? Exactly tell you where you find me in Agate Village, whether I have to talk to a specific person, or whether I find you in a bookshelf like I usually do. 
Blackgate Village, we're famous for the relic stone. You can consider this a retirement village. At least trainers of Brooklyn lead quiet lives here. I suppose the only place I haven't really checked is the Relic Stone, but I kind of doubt that if you be there. Unless something's over here, but probably not. That water. Very nice. Hmm. I've wasted my time and your time as well. Yes, 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 I have. Hi, Michael. It looks like your Shadow Pokemon has opened its heart to you. According to legend, the rel at Relic Stone is said to have Selby's power of time travel. It's said that power makes Pokemon recall their fondest memories. Catch an old Shadow Pokemon, you should come back uh, here again so you can purify it. Well, I've already purified every single one of them. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I have no clue. For anyone knows where these Val CDs are, you know, give me a tip on that because I have no idea. Found one in the Cypher Lab, so might as well go look for it. Of course, the Cypher Lab's kind of big. Hello, dorks. How you doing? You're out playing so much, your mom will worry about you. A little kid like you should go home. What? I guess these are some of the trainers that <laughs> have the rematch clause thing. It's like, I'll challenge you to a rematch. Occasionally. Wasn't expecting the bat. Oh, but it's really the line of things up here. <laughs> Speaking of battles, I still haven't conquered my battle yet, have I? And again, I did say that I'd save it not for the last. So persistent! And as usual, Muck. Oh, makes a glitch. But as usual, Muck, you know, is kind of immune to bullshit to an extent because it's got some incredible special defense. Suppose with that in mind, Pokemon like Muck being poison type and all and having some ridiculous defense stats make it ideal for poisoning your enemy. Because they can tank and attack and get some poison in Good shot. Of course, you know, that right there would have finished off. Wait for it! Level up! You finally reached that level 64! Look at that special attack stat. Oh, Baba, I've lost Baba. <laughs> It means to make you cry if I'm not 
Uh, you're just a brat. Why are you so strong? I'd better arrest you, but I can't be asked. Or I may do just that, but you know, I'm here to look for battle CDs. Well, by battle CDs, I mean one single battle CD. And I have no idea where it is. Oh, that's another thing, the pyramid base. I forgot about that. That's another one that has the, uh, apparently has the battle CD. What even are these things for here? Just look science -y. I think I know where I'm supposed to go, actually. And by that I mean I kind of think I know the area that I'm supposed to be to get the battle CD. But I can't quite remember where it was. You know, that's a thing I forgot to mention. You know, I haven't played much of uh, Alpha Sapphire yet, but one thing I gotta say is the freaking Pokemon Center from the outside looks like shit. I mean, what the fuck is with its design? Didn't take a picture of that, but seriously, man. If you've seen it, you probably know what I mean. It looks very, very... This is the room, right? Bookshelves, maybe? Oh shit, no bookshelves. Oh god damn it, no, I <laughs> doubt what. What appears to be a cut of some sort is written down. It says, if you're looking for battle CDs, you're a shit out of luck because we don't know where we put them. Place is a bit of a maze, you know. And I've backtracked again, but I want to check the room upstairs again to see if I overlooked something in this little room. Doesn't look like I missed anything at all. Not really a lot of places to check, you know. That room doesn't wait. That room does have something. found a lead. Maybe that's the same case with Vagate Village. Maybe it's just something that's hidden in plain sight, but I just keep overlooking it. It's Battle CD42. I guess it's one Battle CD42. Like it can get more than one. 
Do, 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 do. Hey, nearly 30 minutes in, and we only got two bounty. Where's the exit? Seriously, what is up with this vehicle? Kinda makes me think of Final Fantasy VIII. Mm, circling. Let me check for you, sir. It is Brad, why are you so strong? I'll challenge you to a rematch someday, maybe. If you even remember we're even here. This kinda looks like a vehicle as well, but it has no wheels. It's just the shape of it. Mm, should I? Should I? What Pokemon have I got with me? Mm. Okay, why not? I'll challenge one more of you guys. One of you guys is going to be the unlucky or lucky, depending on how you see it, opponent of the day. Along with Perpix, or whatever his name was. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a blue by his toe. Well, you've gotten pretty famous, haven't you? I suppose. Gee, don't brag about it. You've still got more videos and subscribers. You're not that famous, goddammit. You're not the most shit, my arch nemesis. Oh, don't forget to got that, Kingdra. I still remember it. To an extent. I mean, I don't really have to say the time. But I still remember that I remember being pissed at you because you were being a dick back in the day. Just trying to remember what these guys were named. I know that cat trade was like six foul power. What was the freaking name? It was something brothers. I can't remember where I was. It's like how can you forget us, man? We're the most memorable characters in the game. Well, one of the most memorable characters. We're just called peons here. Yeah, it makes sense, you know, he, he's blue six, doesn't mean he's exclusive water Pokemon and Metagross. But then again, what about Seeking? Seeking hasn't got a bit of blue on it at all. Uh, what were they called? What were their names? Uh, Hexagon Brothers, that was it, wasn't it? You know, I just realized, freaking Sire one shot it with Thunderbolt, that freaking Kingdra, didn't she? That's pretty powerful, man. Usually it doesn't really do nearly as much. I mean, it's enough to, like, knock it down, in fact, it's not really I mean, you have to, like, 13 levels, but it's still. Level! That's one thing I hate, wait. One thing I hate about the uh, handheld versions, then I guess, is whenever a Pokemon levels up in the knots, you know, on the field, you don't see their stats raised like this. After all these games, Game Freak, why have you not, you know, done anything about that? It's like, no, you don't want to see what the stats increase by, do you? I mean, who cares about that?
Like the hell did I have four Pokemon? Wow. Knocked me down by near half my HP. I suppose that makes them unique as well. They don't all have the same amount of Pokemon. Actually, that was the thing, wasn't it? Like, one of them had five Pokemon. One of them had two Pokemon and shit like that. Like, it's a shame you don't get unique characters like this. I mean, they only had, like, one role and they reappeared later on. They kind of just, like, had a kind of reoccurring role here and there throughout the plot. They didn't play much of an important role, but no important role really at all. They're just kind of there. But you know, it's interesting when you have characters like this that have their own unique look and kind of interactions rather than just being plain like, you know, oh, you've encountered uh, a Team Rocket Peon with, like, no change from everyone else. They all look the same. I mean, these guys all look the same, but they're different colors. I mean, it makes a difference because they acknowledge the shit in their characters. Rather than just being like, yeah, I'm just a peon, I just work here. Damn, sir, you're powerful. Yeah, I hope that makes you real proud. Stalling you, swat me down. With his, what would that even be? Is it, uh, I, I, it's not quite a bandana, is it? Well, whatever that is, kind of makes him look like an insect a bit anyway. When I get serious, the consequences can be real bad. That's why I took it easy on you. Well, if I battled all of you, this part would go up to like 50 minutes or some shit. What was the, uh, where was the other building? Uh, oh, it's right there, isn't it? Just like, yeah! If memory serves, this place is a bit... Oh, these guys are still here. If memory serves, this place is a bit of a maze as well, isn't it? Oh, hi, Michael. Imagine meeting up with you here. I'm covering the police authorities in their raid on Cypher's secret facility, but it's taken forever to get the interview started. Aren't they awful people? How could they do such terrible things to Pokemon? No, I don't think I've even come back here since actually clearing this place. Look at that water, man. Pollution! Probably. Boy, when we're lucky we get on a roll. I didn't think we'd get to capture scenes of actual arrests. Whoops, I better get my camera set up. Alright, too. Apparently, there are still perpetrators here that are involved in the production of Shadow Pokemon. We've arrived with backup units to make mass arrests of those perpetrators. But we can't be asked to make a move, even though it's been months. A year, even. It's ridiculous, really. It's just that time doesn't really pass in this game. And even if it did, it'd make no difference. Those two weird guys took off with a Shadow Pokemon. One had, like, a mohawk and the other had hair like a ball. Darn it, they made off with the last Shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. How haven't you guys been freaking arrested yet, seriously? Just like, they're right out there, just like, we're waiting for backup. Backup's taking approximately several hundred hours. Well, more than that, actually. Several hundred days? Seriously. I don't think we've been back here since then, so this is kind of new dialogue, I suppose. The abducted Shadow Pokemon was a Dragonite. That ended up being the last Shadow Pokemon to be made at the factory. That means that Dragonite is the last authentic Shadow Pokemon. I think we might have actually come here before, maybe. I think that was when we learned about the uh, last Shadow Pokemon. Might have been. I can't remember, it was probably over a year ago by this point. Oh boy, remember this stuff? Nothing here. Anything 
There's no way to get across there. That's even the point in this area. Is there anything, anything that's supposed to be a battle CD somewhere? Large container, large containers. Large container, large containers. Wait, I see it. It's the Bell CD, Bell Z47. Phew, I thought I'd have to go through the whole place. What? You shut the factory down. Master Greenville's gonna be furious when he hears that. I don't want to be around to see that. Well, you won't be. You'll just be stuck here for the remainder of time. Because, you know, nothing changes. That's the biggest drawback to any game that, you know, you can play after completing the main game. Because nothing changes beyond it. Well, sometimes it does, but usually not. So, we came where we accomplished, uh, we came where we came to accomplish, we accomplished what we came here to do. I got that sentence all the way mixed up there. It's like some freaking Zelda shit that is, isn't it? Just like it's been sealed by the power of... Well, maybe the Triforce, maybe not the Triforce, I don't know. There was also another thing, uh... In Super Mystery Dungeon had a similar kind of seal thing, and that was in a triangular shape. I think, anyway. It's been a while. Let's go back to old Railgun Tower and uh, see what CDs I've got so far. I won't actually play them, I just want to see what they're actually are of, you know. And to see what ones we have missing currently. Also, a response to the one comment on the uh, Kabid Ops. Almost star situation. Just like, yeah, it is, isn't it? It's completely rigged. I really should look at Bulbapedia and see, like, the type matchup between the two, you know. Because it does seem like Cordilli would probably be the one you want on the field. And you just, like it says, do as much damage as possible. But at the same time, do you really want to sacrifice Anarith for that shit? Actually, at the same time, what if I did do that? And I don't know, that would just knock me down my, like, down the free Pokemon while they're rigged Pokemon and still be four! I don't know what to do. Do, do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen's missing. Uh, I've got the Bulbapedia page up, so what is number 14, or rather, where is number 14? Number 14, number 14, number 14. Yeah, number 14 is the one in Agate Village. Wait. It's apparently called Wompland Warbuff, it's, it's probably in Celador, wherever the hell that guy's name was. You know, the guy who has the Warbuff, because that would kind of make sense. But I didn't see anything there. 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24 is missing as well. Work with the fours. Twenty-four is in ons. I didn't check ons, did I? Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. God damn! Why did you skip all that? Again. Wait, thirty-three. Oh, Q 
security Pokemon concert or side A, a friendly battle with cute Pokemon. So that's got a double side, so that explains where 34 will come into this. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, Fossil Fandango, I hate you, 40, 41, 42, is Articuria, Zapdos, Moltres, side A, the dream team of the legendary birds. That will cover for 43, but not 44 and 45, which probably have double sides. Let's have a look where those ones are. 44 is in Phoenix City, but I have no idea. 47, 40, 40, 40. Oh, it's side A, so okay. Do, 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 those are what we've been missing on this quest to clear the Metal City. But you know what? I'll try to find the other ones in the next part and clear some more battle CDs at the same time. So two in one combo. I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.